Mimo is an app for pretty much all the major platforms, including the web. Um, that allows you to learn how to code in various languages and in various ways. So you have HTML, Java, C Sharp, they have React, they have uh, Swift, Apple Swift. They have a whole bunch of languages that uh, I think it's I think it's $79 a year and for the pro membership and you can have access to learning all the languages um, as much as you want that they with a whole bunch of little courses. They're pretty fun to do. Let's take a deep dive. So this app here is called Mimo or Mimo. And basically, like I said in the intro, it is an app to help you learn how to program in various ways. Uh, that's the main focus of it, but you'll see later on that it really is developed for more than just that purpose, although that is the main objective for this application. And this app is generally free, but in order to get into the other programming languages, um, you have to actually pay. That's why you see in the top corner, top left corner, you see Upgrade to Pro. And when you hit Upgrade to Pro, it gives you um, practice perfection. It basically allows you to keep practicing exercises, um, you know, at limited times. The playground, basically, to your profile to publish projects to the web, uh, access the full library of courses, projects, and challenges, and then get a certificate, uh, master every level of skill to earn a certificate, and then they also have the lookup, uh, lookup concepts, and get copy and get ready to paste code. Uh, for challenges, playgrounds, for challenges, playgrounds, and projects. So they give you a lot of different things that you can do to uh, in how to use this app. Now, this app being such a big application, um, it's going to be very interesting trying to figure out how to exactly uh, how to show you guys how to use it. Um, there's not many negatives that I have for this application, so it's mainly just going to be a quick tutorial on how to use it. Um, so you see here, after you go through the initial startup phase of using the application, basically it takes you through a, a brief um, lesson on um, pretty much HTML, um, which is right there, you see HTML5. And after that, uh, it brings you to this page, you're basically your, your home page, your essential home page. Uh, and it tells you you can learn to code, coding made easy. You can learn CSS, JavaScript, C Sharp. You can learn every programming language you can think of. So far, all the mainstream ones teaches you how to do HTML intermediate, basically like adding images, gathering input. Um, they have different sections. They have like uh, you can have a portfolio website of every all the projects that you've done on your own. Um, you can do challenges. You can do social media posts. You can do. You can do a whole lot, and I think what I should do is rather do this. That way people don't message me. Um, and it, it teaches you a whole lot of things. It teaches you how to do a landing page, challenges, CSS functions. Most of this stuff you see here, JavaScript basics. Um, me being uh, a returning college student, so I had graduated college about two years ago, and now I'm coming back to a community college to learn how to actually be a software designer or UI designer. Um, this is one of the applications that's actually pretty useful for me because I actually do use this application. I just downloaded it yesterday or two days ago, and I've actually been starting to try to get into it more and more. I'm trying to train my brain to get used to you know using this instead of going to class because there's no classes to go to right now. It's just online stuff. So they have here uh, types and comparisons. So you can use true or false statements, uh, checking number equality, basically like um, what is the word I'm looking for arrays and things like that comparing numbers they have a whole lot of things and I could scroll endlessly there's so much stuff and if I go to browse at the bottom the next tab you can see continuing learning internet and networks command line um, yeah and if I keep going through so you can see here at the very bottom it says browsing cat browse categories so they have categories for web development which I'll click on, you can see they teach you various uh, functions of the web, basically HTML, CSS, JavaScript, React, Git, command line, and using APIs, and obviously they're using a website. They have programming languages. This is the one that if you are a person interested in computers, which that's probably the reason why you're watching this channel, um, this is actually the most useful part of it. I haven't gotten to pay for Pro yet, and I, I think I'm going to pay for Pro uh, tomorrow, so maybe I'll do a follow-up video on it when I actually pay for Pro, because I really do want to dig deeper into app development and learning deeper, learning how to really create applications. Because I do all these critiques, I've been doing these critiques for apps for years, and it's something that I want to try to get deeper into creating my own app after me teaching other people how to properly design an app. 
So they have different uh, programming languages, Ruby, Java, Kotlin, or Kotlin, uh, C++, C Sharp, Swift, which is an Apple programming language, uh, React, they have PHP, they have JavaScript, Python, Python's pretty simple. Um, they have SQL or SQL, and then they also have R, which I'd never actually heard of until just now. Basically, it's data manipulation with R. Um, and then they have digital literacy. So if you just want to know more about uh, just digital stuff, they have little lessons for that. They have internet and networks, which is what I try to do because I'm taking a networking class. I'm not perfect at it. In fact, that's the hardest part for me. Uh, algorithms, they have understanding machine learning, blockchain, using APIs, using understanding video games, programming, artificial intelligence, browser tracking, self-driving cars, which sounds really interesting. Uh, let's see. They also have cybersecurity. So if you want to get into cybersecurity, maybe you're not in classes right now or you don't have the money for it and you have enough money, maybe working at Food Lion and you just have enough money to pay for it, this thing permanently. Uh, for a year, then it's $70 or $80 for a year. I think the first 24 hours, if you sign up with an account, I think they cut it in half, um, introductory thing to like, I think it's $39.99, but I was too late for that. Um, becoming a hacker, cybersecurity, malware and malware and viruses. So that's stuff that you really do need to know if you're trying to get into cybersecurity. Um, for mobile development, like I said before, so this stuff would be more for like something like me, uh, code for iOS apps, Swift, um, code for Android apps, Kotlin, Instagram story, learn how an app, server, and database work, which that's kind of interesting. Uh, Git, uh, command line, and using APIs. You saw that before in the other screen. Then they have data science, uh, which is which breaks down to big data. Uh, basically teaches big data, helps make decisions, and find insights. So again, if you're look, becoming an IT person and you... you you, you need to know about big data because a lot of IT is going to be uh, dealing with big data. Obviously, you might be a database technician or anything like that. Um, R, understanding machine learning, like I said before, Python, SQL. It's kind of repeats because some of them fit into different categories. And then earn a certificate. You can earn a certificate for different things like that. I don't know how um, employers might feel about if you show them a certificate from MIMO or MIMO. Uh, I don't think they'll take you very seriously. I think they want something more legitimate, but this is a start. If you really get this thing really well and you're able to start your own projects, the sky's the limit for you. You'll be able to most likely get a job if that's what you're looking to get, unless you want to do your own thing. So let's go back. Next tab, you see leaderboard. So me, I'm 17 in the leaderboard, and then it says promotion zone. I'm not even sure what that is, um, but 17 on the leaderboard. Uh, mine is the bub tub. And then if you go up, you can see who's number one, Brian. He's got 12,000. He's been probably doing this all day, which is insane. What's this? Nope, can't press that. Uh, so you got the leaderboard. And then you can go to glossary. Glossary basically is just going to tell you the like, you know, definitions. That's what the glossary is. You click it. Obviously, I can't click on headings. I think glossary in this list is all um, locked under the, the pro paywall. So if you don't pay, you're not going to be able to use this, like I said. You see it right there. And then you got profile there. You see bub tub and then your own personal page, what level you are. And then you can add a bio if you want. Um, then they got the settings here. You can see the settings here. Um, I chose to make it remind me to do a lesson at 4.30 p.m. I chose it to make me, I believe, do my lesson um, for like 20 minutes before, so before each day, which is good. You can change the app appearance. But again, this, you need to purchase uh, the item in the Mimo store. So... God, there's a lot of paywall stuff, stuff uh, broken behind a paywall. But if if what the free offering gives you is what you're actually looking for, you really don't need to pay. Um, and that's that's a good thing. And then you can see all the other information here. And it's really nice. So going back, um, let's go back. They give you a lot of information. I'm, I'm going to skip over a lot of this because it's just like, I don't know, it's, there's a, it'd be like a two, two million hour video and no one wants to watch all that. But uh, this is HTML5. So I'm going to click on the continue to show you how it actually looks like. Also, you see you do see in the top right corner, uh, you see these gems or this coin or whatever it is. I don't even know what they do currently. But I mean, if I click on it, you can see actually you can pay. You can get a T-shirt if if they release that T-shirt. Special app icons you can purchase for 100. Uh, you can streak freeze. So basically you can get daily streaks, which give you more points. You can get streaks as you 
do the do the lessons which give you more points for the leaderboard um and if you miss a if you get a wrong answer you lose your streak and so you go back to like one times points versus this two times four times and so on so it's interesting and then you also got this uh, moon icon here it says keep your streak going for six more days to earn your weekly reward so this is my first day uh, that i've been doing it and yeah so let's go to discovering html and tags and then you can see here um it says here i'm just going to read it through as if it's a story time so with only HTML tag and body tags, any additional text we add to a web page appears in a single line. So you can see they break down what HTML is. You have the opening, you have the opening, and then you have the body, um, which you got to always close out in coding, in programming in general. You always got to close out whatever section you're working on. Otherwise, the program doesn't know when to stop. So you can see under the whole HTML header, uh, you have the body part of it, and in that body is what they're t what they're telling you is in the body. You have the paragraph that you type in, and that stuff will appear in the body of your web page. And then if you go to next, it says with only HTML and body tags, any additional text we add to a web page appears in a single line. And it says here uh, the previous thing what they wrote. My favorite things: raindrops on roses, whiskers on kittens, bright copper kettles warm wooden mittens so that's a little limerick for you if that's a limerick i have no idea um so you can see that and you can see the code that's the code that you did and when you do it correctly it should show up like this even on a real website it will show up like this so if you create a notepad document on your computer and you do this and you save it correctly dot html it should show you on your whatever browser you're using as exactly this so next it says neither line breaks nor multiple spaces add structure to a web page. The browser reads them as a single space. So yeah, unless you put a line break um, and mul or multiple spaces, it's not going to do anything. It says neither line breaks nor multiple spaces add structure to a web page. The web browser reads them as a single space. Yeah, so unless you decide to actually tell the browser that you, are sp you need these spaced out with a line break, uh, it's still it's just gonna show it like that previous sentence where it's just right next to each other so that's what they're telling you and then neither line breaks nor multiple spaces add structure web page the browser reason the single space so you can see they didn't put a period or anything like that and based off of this this sentence here you can see that all it did was just put it next to each other and then this is make sure web pages are more than one large amount so it's the app in general um, the app in general is really straightforward. It really breaks down the lesson, makes it fun and easy to do. I'm going to skip forward a little bit. So you can see here, headers will tell visitors about a web page. We define headings with the heading tag or H1. So it's telling you, highlighting what you're doing. So you need to define the header. And what do you want to do with the header? You need H1. So I'm going to tap at the bottom, H1. OK. And then basically the header, header imagine the title of my YouTube video is my header. So my header is um, Mimo App Review or something. Uh, and then I'll have to close it out. So with that slash, you close it out and then you hit next. Then you can see the header is big. So if you go on WordPress or anything like that, you're going to see that the header is like the header is pretty big. Uh, when you type in header, you obviously you can set the sizes of them. There's H2 headers and a bunch of other stuff. But I'm going to do like one more section like this one and then I'm going to cut it because it's getting pretty long. I don't want to go through the entire lesson or this will be like half an hour long. It says H1 headers contain a number only because it is one of the six heading tags wow that was terrible h1 contains a number because it is only one of six heading tags these heading tags go from h1 to h6 that's what i was saying before um add the heading tags in the ascending order to see what happens so uh i need to do h2 because h1 has already been used for my favorite things so we're going to do h2 and then we're going to close out h2 with that slash uh, and then the next one, Whiskers on Kittens, we're going to do H3. Uh, oops, I messed up actually. Let me go back. H3 and then H3 to close it out. And if you go to next, you're going to see that you see the, the text is actually changing. And this actually does happen when you're doing this on a regular document and you're programming your own website or coding your own website. So you see this says five in a row on the top. It means I got five in a row. So those gold coins, that those points from the five in a row, it's going to multiply it like that. So I'm going to go back, actually. Are you sure you're going to quit this? Um, you'll lose progress and sparks from this lesson. Yep, quit. So going back, you can see here the app is pretty thorough. Um, 
it does similar structure when it comes to learning how to do any coding thing or any any of its other lessons let's say under browse um it, it does it functions the same way and it's really nice i i really like how this app has been laid out um another test obviously you're not going to be able to see it properly but does it rotate it does rotate correctly i always have to do that rotation test if it comes from a mobile device um yeah it's it to me this i don't have any many things to say about it um it it just works if i find some bugs and things like that you better believe i'm going to point it out but so far so good it's been around for a while and you can get it for free on the app store google play store um they have a website that you can actually do the lessons on too if you don't have a smartphone device at this point um yeah it's pretty nice and if you guys have any questions or any more things or you want to see more from this application, maybe a daily lesson that I do um, in my journey of learning how to program, uh, yeah, let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, uh, my name has been Kwaku, and thanks for watching Apparitic, where I just critique apps, which this one wasn't much of a critique, but thanks for watching, and take care, everybody. Stay safe.